Hello. <clears throat> uh, greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat. Um, here to provide you, not Vampire the Masquerade, like my schedule actually clearly states I should be doing, but something of my childhood, because I love myself. Um, so if I've had this CD for a while, and I recently got a new-to-me CD driver, I haven't had one in a few years, because mine kind of exploded. Okay, it didn't explode, it just borked. And I had this, and out of sick, nostalgic curiosity, I wanted to see if it could actually work and get on my computer, and also could be detected on my streaming stuff. It can. I have done it. Clearly. So welcome to Disney Studio, St Disney Magic Studio. I had the name. Uh, Disney Magic Artist Studio. Yes. This title, way too long. This was my first art program. I was a young child. This game came out in... I'd read the CD, but it's in there, and I don't know what happens if I pull the CD. Uh, I, I know what happens to pull... What do you pull out the CD? Anyway, <clears throat> this was... I, a lot of kids had kid picks. I had this. Now, I'm going to give you guys a fair warning. You guys are seeing it in a slightly bigger screen, and most likely, also, it looks a little blurry. Sorry about that. Uh, this program was meant for games in, in 4x3 uh, monitors. I did not expect that monitors would get this big. So, I'm working with a very tiny thing, and I can't figure out how to make it bigger. So, I have to deal with tininess, and you have to deal with some blurriness. So, I thought I'd show off this program, and I've also discovered... Hold on. My tablet works with it! <laughs> Sadly, the pen pressure... Wait, does the pen pressure work? Oh my god, pen pressure also works! Okay! Pen pressure also works with this thing! Oh, that's cool! And you can only go undo once, uh, of course. So, brain, remember that. Okay, I didn't know pen pressure actually worked with the tablet. Oh my god, that is actually very impressive. I am impressed to the cows come home. So there are many different tools with this thing. That was the pencil. And it always starts you on blue. I never understood why it started you on blue. There could be some weird scientific explanation on why it starts you on blue, but I won't know it. Also, it starts you with the... Where's... Where are the reds? Are there no reds in this game? Oh, right! It made that weird woo-woo sound. I forgot about the woo-woo sound. Okay. That's the sound of my childhood. Okay. There we go. Purple. So you have your pencil. Um, we'll do something simple. Hi! <laughs> I used to play with this on a mouse, and I will actually recreate the artwork that I used to do all the time in this game. Okay, so we also have in this the zip, well, pencils. You also had, you can control your thickness. Okay, so drawing with the tablet, fine. Doing controlling of settings. Oh, I forgot I did this. You had, um, you could do dotted lines. You could do ziggy zaggies. Um, you could do these. That's kind of cool. Um, sorry, we're just going to enjoy the artness. Then you have your standard straighties. You have dotted lines. I also discovered Control Z works on this. Wait, there's a zoomy button. Oh, if you want to make your art bigger, you have your loop the loops. Yes, it makes a flushing sound. You have my brain. <laughs> and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And then you had, uh, if you wanted to basically bevel and emboss. It was really cool. For a, and you could control how much it was. I mean, it wasn't that many settings. It made it look like there was a ton of settings, but it's kind of cool, right? This is a kid's program for art. And also, I do not have my co-host today, so if anyone's talking, no one's talking. Um, that's great. And I also put myself up in a streamer's chat thing on Discord, and I highly doubt I'm going to get hit. Yeah, as you can clear from our co-host on here. Um, then we have the paintbrush. Paintbrush. 
Oh, also, there's the line tool and the curve tool. We all know those tools. Those tools are, like, standard. Then you have your paintbrush. It says, like, this. And then you had this one, which I think is more finger paint, correct? And this one, watercolor. Ooh, that sound. Enjoy the ASMR. Can you guys even hear that? I did set the audio out, right? Uh, crap, I don't know how to test it. Uh, I don't have my co-host here to talk and tell me if the audio is actually working. Uh -oh. Um, that's a problem. Don't I have some copyright-free music I could just use? I have to have some, right? Go, go away! I got something from the YouTube audio library. That should work. Alright, yeah, it is working. Heavy metal music while well, listening. Well, not heavy metal, but you get the point. So you have that, and you could, you know, mess with the bevel and emboss, and also you can mess with the goopiness. How goopy can I go? Oh, that's cool. Hi, welcome to Cat is going to have a nostalgia trip, and y'all are coming with me. Look at that goopiness. Oddly satisfying. Ooh. Let's see how goopy we can get this paint. Whoop. <laughs> okay, that's impressive. These are things I didn't notice as a child because I just stuck to the basic shit. Because I was a dumb, dumb child. Anyway. Um. Oh, also... I remember this now. If you clicked on it, you could change it. Change the tool. And so, if you want, you could have... Like this awesome effect. Ooh, too much. I just recently discovered that, so... It's kinda cool, right? Pretty cool if you could figure out a way to, um, flush. Flush, child! Wonder. <gasps> you can do flowers with that! Okay, that's kind of cool! Our influence grows! We have a follower? What? Nani the hell? Uh, yeah, uh, hello, fiction is so, fiction so real. Uh, welcome. This is, welcome to my nostalgia. I, due to my friend not being available for Vampire the Masquerade, I will be doing some nostalgia games for you because I like to do this nostalgia. Uh, sorry, I couldn't see it instantly. I do not have the program which lets you see the chat while on one, all on one screen. So if you are saying something, and since I don't have my co-host, this is going to be very awkward. But still, anyway, where was I? So, <coughs> paintbrush, we have the most annoying sound ever. And now I remember why I'd never used this tool. Which does this little effect. Which, while interesting, the noise, due to my au young autistic audio processing self, could not stand. Let's do something nicer. Crayola, anyone? You got your crowns. And let's see, do the crowns also do different shapes? Up, oh, yep, they do. They do the same shapes like a pencil. Again, my anxiety brain. Also, if you do crayons, it does a much... Ooh, that's a nice sound. That's the sound from my childhood right there. I know, that's weird. I have a very weird childhood. And if you click the 
crayon. You got a melted crayon. Which did stuff like... Oh, right, right, right. It doesn't like if I use... I have to use the mouse to do the tool selecting. Does that. And if you want it nice and gooey, nice and... You can do it all raised up. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not... Then we had... Chalk! I don't remember if I hated the sound or not. I know there's one of these tools. Mine is the uh, annoying toothbrush that I hate the sounds burningly. <laughs> ah! That's squeak. <sighs> Sorry if you have an audio processing issue or have certain sounds that annoy you. This is going to not be your video. Also, you could do glow in the dark. And you could do that, and then it looked like that. I never understood that. Uh, there's the eraser. Which, okay, here's the marker. Brace itself for noise. Oh, that's squeak. And then you had this thing, which did like watered markers. And then there was stamps. Oh, it's like those little... Oh, it's a it's a roller. I wonder what other animals they have on this. Hearts. I remember using that one a lot as a kid. Smiley faces. Stars. That's kind of cute. Tulips. Boom. <laughs> uh, music notes. I remember using this one a lot as a kid. A uh, foot. Uh, we got dots. Paw prints. Always fun. And then dog again. Wait, I can do art right now. No. Um, and if you click the marker, you got invisible ink. Wait, I have theory. Invisible ink. Okay, that's kind of interesting. That, 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 that's fun. Uh, we have this thing, which is for... Shapes. Excuse me, I'm going to enjoy some ADHD stimming. <laughs> Alright, I'm supposed to make that shape. Yeah. But you can click that, it made blob. Cat is confused. I made a paw print. Uh, we had the text, which I never used. Does it actually keep all the text that you had? Hold on, hold on. I gotta see. Does it keep the, uh, does it have? Holy crap. Does it actually keep my, the, uh, hold on. No, it does not. Okay. I was like thinking, does it have my custom fonts in here? It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm sorry, guys. We have paint bucket. Oh, 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 oh. We did like. And did like. Okay, I got no clue. And then. You have your paint bucket tool, which is standard. You have a gradient tool. Oh God, the childhood, it be strong. Oh, you can do radial and linear. And you can change the color of the gradient. Oh, that's, that is, that is nice. Oh, that is nice. Actually, hold on. So the eraser tool had something gradient like, what's this? But it did that. I knew it had the squeegee. And it had standard. Oh, that is cool.
I think I, you just made a late 90s tattoo. I might have. Um, oh, yeah, and then there was the sponge tool, which could help you fade stuff and make it all moist. 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 Um, let's see. Then we had this one, which basically would do a rent, would do textures. Um, here's one of my, f that's not one of my favorite ones. Okay, what is, aha, that's from Bevels and Embosses, which is very important if you're into that shit. There's this one. This one's my favorite pattern because I'm weird. Let's see. There's this one. It's a leaf. Uh, there's flowers. There's this one. This one's pretty. This one's cute. This would be a cute wallpaper if you know what you were doing and you're into that stuff. Of course, because this is a Disney product. Now watch the copyright claims come ahead. Also, there's a radio. If you're wondering why this game is so quiet, there is a radio. This is the radio, and it uses music from the game. It's not that I don't want to use it. I do, so I can go down Nostalgia Lane. The problem is I don't know how heavily copyright this music is. And I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, actually, I wonder what that one would look like that. Nightmare Fuel. Gotcha. What about this way? Also nightmare inducing. Good to know. Go back to standard. Uh, we have the patchwork one. It's kind of cute. I wish you could do like non monotoned versions, but you know. This was a game made in the gingham. Who doesn't love gingham? People had to deal with a lot of gingham. Some plaid. <coughs> <coughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry. I have allergies. Uh. We have that. We have rocks. I got a rock. We have tiles. 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 All right, I'll hydrate. I'll hydrate. Jesus. Mmm, hydration. Oh. We have this. I have no clue what that shape is. And we have brick again. And if you want to click the bucket, it does that. It's just a fill screen. Oh, what's this button do? Oh my god, it does, there's texture! You could texturize your, oh my god, this changes everything! I don't remember this! Young dumb idiot me! You could texturize your paper! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why didn't no one tell me this? Oh, does it work with marker? No, it doesn't. Of course it would make sense it would work with crayon. Oh my god, there's so many textures! Okay, so you have your standard paper, then you have this one, then you have the zebra looking one, then you have this this one, which looks like looks like fabric. Sorry, hi, cat did not know about this. Then we have this weird one, with the tire looking one. Flush. We have this one, this one, a different one, which kind of looks like looks me. Then we have this one. We have this one, and we have this one. Why did why did Young Me not use this? Or did Young Me use this, and I just don't remember it? Oh my God! There's so much art. This this art program's awesome. I know everyone was always like Kids Picks was the greatest art program ever, but I'm starting to question that. Then you have these swirly things, and then you got plain old paper. Okay. Anyway, where was I? Ah, the spray bottle feature, which is fun. 
Um, I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, because I remember there's, the first one is pretty serious. If you are an arachnophobe, look away. I will tell you when it is safe to not look away, okay? So this, th this thing would spray things, and it would spray spiders. I'll show the other things too. And also, if you click the bottle, actually, I'll do the click the bottle later. You would do spiders. I, I will remove the spiders for those who are arachnophobic. The sound of the flesh means there is no more spiders. There was also popcorn. It's kind of cute. There was also uh, ladybugs. Um, uh, if you're afraid of ladybugs, sorry, but there's ladybugs on the screen now. And now they're gone. Butterflies. God, that's so cool. Um, there was... This one's one, I think this one was my favorite one. Mushroom! I like mushrooms. I like mushrooms. And then there's, um, if you have a phobia of eyes, look away now. Do they blink? No, they don't. How would they blink, cat? They have no lid. Think logically, woman. Uh, this one's also a very pretty one. Great if you ever want to do something very anime. Roses. Keys, keys, fall in love. Da, na, 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 na. And then the ever so popular glitter. This was. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta do something. This moment brought to you by Disney. <laughs> uh, then you got. Shinies, which most likely look horrible on your screen. I do not know. It looks kind of decent on my screen. And then you have the bubbles. Some of them pop. That's cute. Flash. And then back to spiders. Now, if you did it this way. Hold on. Any messages? Oh, hello, Avil J James Games. Oh, yeah. The zebra pattern. Oh, the zebra texture. Yeah, that could really go do well if you do a Lisa Frank thing. Um, I might try that out, but right now I'm just wanting to show off all these tools. And there are more! There's a whole thing dedicated to teaching you how to do animation, and I did my very first animation on this thing, which was a bouncing rubber ball. I'll show that later. So we have what it's like to deal with teenagers. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have, oh, this one was my favorite. Hello, little froggies! And then we have the underside of a ladybug. If you're afraid of bugs, I'm sorry. Uh, slugs. Snails. Look at those snails. Look at them move. That was it for that. Which is kind of saddening. Um, we have spray paint. Hold on. I want to test something out. Spray paint does not get affected by that. Okay. So you had your spray paint, you had this option, that option, which again, if you like the paintbrush, ew, aha, you could also be gooey, woo, now I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools in this, quick spray can, whipped cream! I want it with whipped cream on it. Gimme, gimme, gimme your love. Yes, a whipped cream tool. It is awesome. Look, give me your stars. You just be gooey. Awesome. Um, you have the lasso tool, which speaks for itself. Did it just? Yahoo! Yes, it did. <laughs> Which also turned into... Yip, 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 yip. This is such a childhood thing for me. Which you can use for, you know, your basic last of tools. Now we have this thing. Hello. <laughs> Which also has one of my other favorite tools. Uh...
cool, right? <laughs> um, then there was Grapevine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Thank you. So, you could do this. I'm gonna have to stick to the brush for uh, stick to the mouse for this one because you know. But if you clicked the tool, it did this. Plonk. <laughs> and each one had a different theme. Um. Now we have the we have the uh, what I thought was grapevine, but now I'm learning actually is other fruit. And cabbages. And pumpkin. Cabbage soup. Cabbage soup. Cabbage soup. Lettuce soup. Lettuce soup. Lettuce soup. Um. Let's thunk it. Carrots. Wait, could you aim it? Wait, can you aim it? I just made it go random. Oh my god, I didn't know you could ra- you could freaking aim it! Young child and me! Oh, we have sausage. Sausage. Hope you like sausage. And... Right there! Mustard! <laughs> Is that the only thing you put on hot dogs, you, you heathens? Um... Licorice? Yeah. And when you threw a thing on it... <laughs> Hold on. The funky sounds are adorable. We have ribbon. Ooh! Some of these are like, great! Some of these are a nightmare! And then... what does it do? Thunk! It's a pleasant! That makes sense. Um, oh, paper children. Because who doesn't love small children holding hands, singing kumbaya? And when you threw it, scissors? Paper airplanes. Oh, that's cute. Um, ooh, spaghetti. And then when you thunked, meatball? Meatball. Oh, um, if you have worm phobia, which most likely is an actual phobia and actually has a real scientific term, please look away now. I will tell you when it's safe to look again. Ain't that awesome? <laughs> and basically, when you stop it, it ends there. And thunk! Dirt! If you do not, if you have worm phobia, it is safe to look now. So, we had that, and what's over here? Oh, that's where you save your crap. Ignore that. Um, now we have animation. Oh, this is the thing that teaches you how to animate. Chalk talk, where you can make magical moving pictures. Oh, Just that's have fun. One of the five lesson buttons to get started. If you're not sure which one to pick, we'll pick one for you. Oh my god, there was more complicated ones. I just did bouncing ball because it was the easiest. Oh my god, I could finally be a YouTube animator! I am not going to be a YouTube animator using this. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Um... This is lesson one, where you'll learn how to make an object appear to move. In this case, the <laughs> bouncing ball. The basics of animation. This piece of chalk. The dependable circle tool. You'll be using the ping pong set. And you'll have to create three drawings. Ready? Let's get started. Can I change the color? First off, you'll have to draw a circle. That's pretty simple with the circle tool. Just put your cursor over the X above and drag to the X below. Resto, a circle. Now you try. Just click on the next step when you're done. Let's see how bad I do at this. Now we need a skinny circle. Again, just I'm having fun with this. Let me have my fun. Drag to the lower one. Ready? Go. Now 
all we need is a flat oval. Just use the circle tool to go from left to right, then click the done button, and you can watch all of your drawings work together to make an animation. Hey, look at that. You've done very well. Look at my bouncing ball. Be proud of me, Mom. You can use this animation in other pictures if you use the animation clipboard. Watch your work for a while, and when you're ready, click on a lesson button. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, okay, Ark. Uh, hold on. Ark, Ark, Ark. I will call Ark and then I'll tell him, yeah, we will be doing vampires later or something, most likely. Hello, Ark. <sighs> hello, Ark. Woke me up. I want to point out, Art kept making fun of me about me sleeping in late. The First off, I actually had a reason last night because a friend came over and I was keeping an eye on her because she was having a very bad week. So. All right, all right. I have a justification. <laughs> okay, fine. Unlike me, I don't. Ark is quiet. Um, hold on, I will up his volume. It's probably because I'm also, you know, waking up, so my voice isn't exactly vibrant and exuberant. Also, every time I minimize Twitch, it dies. So I. Uh, hello, Steva. Welcome, and I love your dolphin as always. Sorry, uh, Ark. We are doing my childhood. Not you. You're watching me play a game from my childhood that I have somehow uh, successfully installed. I, I, I was, I was going to be uh, concerned there for a minute. Please don't get all Freudian on me, Mister. <sighs> Ark is fine. So I was just playing this because I was just like, you know what? Let's see if the game can pick it up. Okay, stop. Stop. Thank you. So yeah, uh, I learned how to animate now. Ooh, animation. Uh, Avel wishes to know where you got this. Oh, where I got this game? Okay, so in the many years of the early 2000s when I was a young wee lass, we got it at a store known as Walmart. Where you can get this now, I have no effing clue. This is an actual CD disc that I actually do own, okay? I just, I was testing out to see how well my C, if I could actually get this thing to work on my computer. You know, you ever, you ever have one of your old CDs back in the day and you put in your new modern computer just to see out of morbid curiosity if you could play it? I can with this one. Uh, I think maybe you could find it on eBay. I know there might be a, um emulated copy out there maybe I don't know I never actually looked I didn't consider that I just was so happy to be able to do this ah. and Ark is soon going to be watching some fun okay so there was a second part to this thing which is a interactive coloring book slash animation slash it's a weird and there were like different themes Many different themes. We shall go through all of them and hope to God that the audio doesn't get copyright claimed like hell. Well, you already know the answer to that. Well, yes, but I'd like to be a little hopeful. So you could do it in uh, black and white so you could actually color it yourself. <laughs> if this thing had layers, I would. Um, apparently, apparently there's a uh, website called Old Games Download that has it for free. Yeah, there's also, I think that also is the place where I could play that. I have this game <coughs> called Dinosaur Tycoon that I actually also want to play for the audience to show off some more nostalgia. Welcome to Nostalgia Saturday. This is only going to happen once. Uh, she says, and then we'll do it again and lie to the audience. She's a lying liar. You're a lying liar of liar pants. I oh, don't know you're not. You're a good boy. You're a good bean. But yeah, if you also want to acquire a copy of this, uh, look that doesn't require a download, uh, Amazon is selling a copy in acceptable condition for about $26. I think that was actually around the price that I did have to pay for it as a child. <laughs> anyway. Inflation. It does not exist. Yeah, anyway, and also, if you wanted to not do color, you could do... Animated! Which has music! Which is actually pretty repetitive. 
but you couldn't prove it. I'm just dancing along to this, and I really wish I had my camera set up for this, but I'm not gonna. Okay. And then there was me who was playing games like Lego Island when I was a kid. <laughs> Lego Islands for nerds! Says the girl who actually might have had one of the Lego Island games and just can't remember. But if you did the animated version, you could also get other music if you added the, add the guys into it. Watch. It adds to the music. I'm dancing to this, and I hate myself for it. Add to the audience for other games that you remember playing during your childhood. Really? Listen, I have a game. Now, if you knew, know this game, audience, I will be very impressive. It took three discs. It's called Dungeon Lords. And it is a glitchy, beta testy mess that never got fully finished because of freaking uh, upper studio meddling to get this game out quickly. It's called Dungeon Lords. There is a patch to it, and it is also available on Steam. And my deep, dark want to make this game actually work on my computer and play it a game for nostalgia's sakes, even though I never got past the first town as a child because I was young, naive, and stupid. Well, you've improved, so you're probably not entirely... Now, the problem is, I don't know why, but this game does get a little skippy after a while, because I most likely am making the game confused as hell. I mean, to be fair, this is also, what, early 90s? Uh... Late 90s. Okay, late 90s, but oh, still, late 90s computer software. That was probably made on the cheap. Late 90s, early 2000s, but look! And this is the 1950s theme! We have even more themes! And flush. We have fancy schmancy opera theme. Because we love ourselves and love a fancy schmancy opera. Look at this fanciness. Feel eloquent. Very fancy. Yes. This just reminds me of uh, one of those fill-in postcards. Yeah, but you missed all the fun stuff. But, you know, we're just going to have some fun here, enjoy this, and then sooner or later I will actually do some of the artwork that I used to do as a small young child when I made this. Yes, I did actually used to do artwork on this game. I didn't just play around with this, I promise. The music isn't bad either, right? You can't hear the music! <laughs> There's a jungle theme! Uh oh. Please be Hawaii. Th oh, please. Please don't be bad. Okay, it's not bad. Um, there's an old Hollywood theme. There is a uh, space theme. First off, it's Disney. Why would you be concerned if it's bad? When I say bad, I mean racist. I mean, it's Disney, so... Yeah. Generic Hawaii surfer music. Okay. Lilo and Stitch? pre Lilo and Stitch. So Actually, this game was released 21 years ago. But... Are you making me feel old now? He's researching the game I am playing. It was just a uh, random little tidbit I found. Found any other tidbits? Uh, it was released for, yeah, it came out in 1999. It was released for Mac, 98, me, and 95. I feel old again. Wait, then this game came out when I was... Nine years old. Okay, I was wrong on my math. But it's not bad for an early 90s game, dude. Come on. Late 90s game. A late 90s game made by Disney that was actually dedicated to children and entertained them? It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Hollywood music. I know it has to sound cheesy. 
Yep. Oh, I forgot you could put extras and stuff into this. I forgot about that. Look. <laughs> Hold on. Can can of rats. <laughs> and pigeons. Definitely see how this would keep a nine year old entertained. Did you see the art side of it? It keeps me very entertained. We discovered some stuff in here that I didn't even remember, and I got super entertained. Ooh, well, that's good. Always good to be entertained. Uh, there was a space one. Space, 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 space. Space, you wanna... space. Space. The final frontier. Did, uh, make sure to be careful to keep not to keep all that space to yourself. Uh uh. Uh oh. I thought I broke the game. Good news, everyone, it's not broken. Uh, there was a accordion. German. That is a German theme. Polka, anyone? Uh, anything interesting happening in the audience? Uh, oh, not particularly at the moment. They're all they're all running away now because they heard polka. All right, let's see the polka dancing, Mickey. Oh. I see what we gotta do here. Ka! Denied! Okay. Ooh, there's a spoopy theme. What's the spoopy theme? I wanna see the spoopy theme. Oh, it's just Scooby Doo esque. I was hoping for Haunted Mansion bullshit, yo! I like the Haunted Mansion. Have fleas now. We all have fleas. It's winter. Winter is coming. Wait, there's a scary, spooky, scary skeleton. And it dances. Does it dance? Yes, it does. Watch the stream. The spooky theme's adorable. I'm not scared of it. Um, there's a big band jazz theme. Yeah, okay. Yeah, jazz music. That's something kids would be into. There's a cowboy theme. We all remember the cowboy themes, because who doesn't love a good cowboy theme? I'm leaving my wife for my tractor. That's not how old this computer is. What? Uh, I was looking at my uh, how old my computer was, and it's from 2014, so six years. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a toaster, but you're a toaster. We got a disco theme because you know nothing entertains children like disco music. Disco? Little disco dance? Ah, 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 ah. Music Stay. before they were all born. Oh, there's some assets in here you used because that car was in the Hollywood theme but now is in the disco theme. Also, Whole Bundle is still having a, a sale because apparently it's a uh, winter encore sale. Anyway, that's a lot of the themes. Oh, there's still, uh-oh. There's a safari theme. Yep. 
Yep, basic tribal beats. I'm sorry to hear that, Siva. Siva says my computer's about eight. Well, I had actually a good gaming computer, but then it died on me, so I had to rely on a toaster. Technically, my computer's like over ten, but all the parts in it are very. A lot of the parts are new, so it's like I, I. It's one of those custom build, pull in, pull outs. I eventually need to upgrade this thing. It's just money has been a problem to the point where I can't do that. Stimulus one day. Well, I mean, maybe if uh, you know, a certain stimulus comes out, I'll actually be able to uh, afford the parts. They have Donald and Daisy Duck dressed up as cave people. Apparently they have all the Dawn of War games on here that on sale. Which would be exciting, except I have every one that's already on sale, so... There's a steamboat version, steamboat theme. Steamboat Willie. Uh, I'm hoping it's a reference to that. Oh, no, it's not steamboat themed. It's Louisiana themed. It's Nolan's themed. It's Nolan's theme. Behold! Nolan's. <laughs> Nolan's. Behold! Nolan. Princess and the Frog. Almost there. Any of the good ones? Uh, depends on what you mean by the good ones. I don't know either. It's got Resident Evil 5 and 6. Oh! I don't remember this one. Hmm? Oh no, I'm just looking at this thing. It's a, uh, it's like abstract art. I, I, I know that feeling, Siva. Like, I just found out I can run Crusader Kings 2 again, so I'm very happy to have something actually to play. Behold! Abstract! As I'm going to attempt to run Space Marine and a few other things to so see how that goes. So. Behold the everything, the nothing, and the in between. I also picked up Condemned Colonel Origins, a game that was actually released when Xbox 360 was first released. You feeling old yet, kids? Fear the everything, embrace eternity. Life is pointless. <laughs> Look at this abstract bullshit I just made. I can sell this for three million dollars. <laughs> Very abstract. <sighs> Guess what the theme is? Mm -hmm. uh, ennui. Ennui is the theme. Ennui. Ennui. No, that's Bonnui. And we have a cowboy redneck one. Oh, let's look at the farm. We hold the farm. Behold the country music. I want to behold the country music, though. Behold Donald Duck bathing in a tub. What do I hate country? And too bad, you gotta deal with it. Behold Daisy and some Daisy Dukes. Behold. She's threatening, she's threatening the audience to behold. I don't want to behold. We have dancing. This is this is. I don't understand any of this. Something about seeing Mickey Mouse barefoot just rubs me the wrong way for some reason. Oh, and here's the tractor. Can't forget the tractor. Get your jug out, everyone. Anyway. Uh, that's about it in the animation. So now that you've all, at least the ones who actually paid attention and play, focused, and didn't come in late, again, I have a just, I had a justifiable reason. So I'm talking about the audience who came in late. Speaking of which, I gotta check the notes. Yeah, everyone feels old playing this game. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do some art, everybody. I'm gonna do some art of a thing I used to draw the most when I was a youngin. Because we hate ourselves. Ooh. I'm pretty sure it's natural to hate yourself after a certain point in your life. You hate yourself after a certain point in your life. Yes. Gonna do a little bit of uh, art. I'm gonna do some artwork that I used to do all the time as a wee youngin. A wee wee lad. Last. A wee wee lad. 
Stop wee weeing on everything. Uh, no, actually, let's do, let's do this properly and use the skills I have learned as an adult artiste. Start from bottom, go up. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Lush. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see the black parade. No, so see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, something, something, the leader Damn, of the- copyright strike. That's why we're going something, something. Yes, I'm gonna get copyright struck for my bad remembering of a freaking ge freaking song. You know, you say it, but we both know it will likely happen. Yeah, I know, and I hate it. You said, son, when you grow up, remember to wash your fucking butt. Lesser known lyric. Ready? Yeah. Now we do the art. Okay. And then. Yeah. Audience, if you can guess what this is, you win a million dollars. And by a million dollars, I mean you win flat out nothing because I don't got money. Look at me. She lied to you, audience. God, if you hit control, you can actually color pick. <gasps> That's so awesome. And I should be right back since I, like I said, just woke up trying to do some stuff quick. Stretch your leg. Yep, get back. I wish this thing had layers and opacity. God, I've been spoiled by Photoshop. Yeah, not that one. Again, I'm just recreating my childhood and I'm doing my best here. And then we break out my favorite tool, Chippen Kremen. And I have returned. Hola, welcome to the Whippin' Kremen hour. We whippin', we creamin'. I have Mountain Dew. You didn't bring me any? Good, because I hate Mountain Dew. I'm your co-host, not your, uh, not your maid. Then why did I give you that little maid outfit? <laughs> I'm joking, it's for his Warhammer figures. I'm joking again. It's not for him. Just imagine you going into Warhammer and having a little Warhammer figure in a maid's outfit. I mean, to be fair, someone did uh, up in Hello Kitty, so... See? Not too impossible.
after all, Hello Kitty is pain. Uh, say hello to artwork I used to do as a young child in this game. Hello, artwork. Can you How guess? You? Can you guess what it is? Uh, no, because you said to say hi to the artwork. Oh. Ah, food stuff. <laughs> it's a, it's an ice cream. <laughs> because of the whipped cream tool, I would always make ice cream. <laughs> Yes, there's a nice, there's a whipped cream tool on this. Now let's see if I can actually do something decent with this program. Oh, I know what I can make. I will be an artist. My friend, everyone who's watching this is like, can someone please pull her away from the children's games? No! But cat, we both know you'll never be an artist. <laughs> you monster! You are, you and I both know I am an artist. I sell the work. Do you though? Do you? I may because technically I've never actually seen you sell any art, so thus I don't actually know if you do sell your art. You could just be lying for all I know. You wanna know how much money I made off of Redbubble this month? How much? Five bucks. <laughs> but again, how do I know that you're telling the truth and you're not just lying? Mm -hmm. Hi, Chewy. Hi. Do you need me? Do you want your drink? Uh, okay, hold on. Let me just finish this piece of artwork. Behold, art. Nothing. Arc. Arc. Legit panics. Uh. uh it helps if I did not mute myself. Yeah, it does. Also, Arc, I have to entertain the audience for a bit. I have to go take care of something. But I can't entertain the audience. I'm not entertaining. Talk about rainbows. Uh, Talk. So how's everyone doing this fine day? Thank you. Everyone, uh, staying safe from, uh, all the nasty stuff that's out there waiting to consume us all. Okay. <coughs> All right. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome what, back. What has happened without me? Uh, currently nothing. Okay. <coughs> I'm very tempted to buy that. What? Uh, the Company of Heroes franchise edition. I. Th you can't buy a it's whole. Like, you can't buy a whole Company of Heroes. It's uh, it's a game. It's seventeen dollars on the uh, Google game or uh, not Google games, but uh. Humble bumble. Yes. <coughs> That's not bad, Price. For a humble bumble. Humble bumble. So, I may or may not be slowly poking Grim to ask Grim. Uh, ask, sorry, slowly poking Ark to ask him to look up something for me. What do you want? I need you to look up a certain game to see if there's still the browser version available. Okay, what is it called? Dino Tycoon. Or Dinosaur Tycoon. Dino. 
Dinosaur Tycoon. Uh, do, 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 do. Probably a good old game at the very least. Hmm. Let's see, there's Dino Park Tycoon. That's the one! Because <clears throat> we will be continuing this nostalgic Saturday with Dino Park when I'm. Because we hate ourselves or love ourselves. Uh, apparently, you could, this person has it. Oh, I found a place. It's called Classic Reload. Yep. Yeah. There's also PlayClassicGames.com. Yeah. Apparently, does it too. So that, Give that a try and see how it goes. Yeah, we'll be doing that later then, I guess today. Because, you know, the stream is only an hour long, and we must entertain them for more than one hour. Um, so, let's see if I can actually draw. Someone mentioned a while back that if we use the zebra texture of this program, of this thing, we could actually recreate Lisa Frank. Who wants to get some nostalgia going on? Actually, no, let's not use pencil. Let's use Crayola. Yeah. Crayola mother magic. You really? You really, buddy? Really what? I don't know. I'm just... I'm just... I'm making Lisa Frank artwork. Look at me. Lisa and the Frank. <clears throat> hey, let's all this time. No, don't sing. My ears can't take it. I'm still waking up. It will wake you up further. Wake him up! Before he go goes, I'll leave him hanging on the like a yo yo. You, you, My randomly disappeared it's because of the fact that I couldn't take your singing anymore. You monster! To think I was inviting you to Portal Night. You didn't invite me to anything. You don't know that. Well, maybe I decided not to invite you because of how you just reacted. Okay. Sure, All right. So that was basically um. The Disney game. We'll be talking about Dino, Dino, Dino Park Tycoon in a second. Uh, give us a second, and let's just take a break. We'll turn off the stream, but we will turn it right back on, or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's what you get for the ending, guys. Of this game, which is hilarious as hell to me. And then the stream was never heard from again. You monster. Anyway, be right back.